Good morning, my name is Robert. I have your word for the day today. We're continuing to work through the path to the cross and the story of Easter, and we find ourselves in the very early stages of the storyline of Jesus and his path here. Yesterday was the story of the Last Supper and Jesus washing the disciples' feet, leaving them with that lasting reminder that their role was the role of servanthood. And following that, Jesus went out to the Mount of Olives to pray. And listen to what Luke chapter 22 tells us. It says, And when he withdrew from them about a stone's throw, he knelt down and prayed, saying, Father, if you are willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but yours be done. And there appeared to him an angel from heaven, strengthening him. And being in agony, he prayed even more earnestly. And his sweat became like great drops of blood falling down to the ground. Now, as I read these words, the weight of what Jesus was about to do for us on the cross hits me so much deeper. The fact that the Son of God knew what was coming and was in so much anguish and turmoil about this that he pleaded with God the Father to find another way. And he even faced so much anxiety about this that he sweat drops of blood. It shows me that Jesus' actions on the cross were far more significant than sometimes we realize. But then what stays with me is Jesus' statement, not my will, but your will be done. See, Jesus had anxiety and dread over going to the cross, but he also had total trust in the plan that God the Father had for him. In my life, I found myself in those much smaller, much more insignificant moments of pleading with God for things that I wanted to see happen. But where the situation actually came alive and changed for me was when I was able to submit to God and say, not my will, but your will be done. I hope that today, whatever you're facing, that you'll be able to do the same thing and submit to God and truly trust in his plan for your life so that you can see his power and glory shine through your situation as you say, not my will, but your will be done, Lord. Hope this is a, an encouragement to you. Hope you're looking forward to Easter and will join us in worshiping the risen Savior, Jesus, on that day. We'll see you next time, Calvary.